Hi people, I'm the Average Scott Consumer and today we're going to look at the TP-Link Casa Smart Wi-Fi Plug Slim. Now this is very similar to the previous version, only it's a lot smaller. However, there is a very good deal on this, which we'll tell you about in a minute. So if you're looking for some other smart home ideas, then check out my previous videos, which include the Casa Smart Bulbs, which are excellent. And if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel for some more personal and home and kitchen technology videos. So to get this smart plug free, you have to buy a Google Nest Mini from Argos. And as you can see here, if you go to the website and then go to the Google Nest Mini, it gives you the special offers and that includes adding this smart plug for free. Now this offer only runs to the 23rd of September, so if you're watching this video after that date, then you're out of luck. But it's only £15 for the smart plug, so it's actually a really good product at a decent price as well. So it is worth it for a cheap addition to your smart home. So the plug itself is nice and well made. The main difference being that it's smaller than the previous version obviously and also instead of the button being on the front you have it on the side which allows you to manually turn it on or off. So in terms of setup, it's pretty much the exact same as the previous version and if you want a more detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to set it up then you can watch my video on the previous version and I'll put a link for that below but the basics are still the same, you can name your plug so if you've got a lamp plugged in then you can name it the kitchen lamp for example and this can then be controlled with your smart devices such as the Google Home Hub and I'll show you that right now. So that's the basic function of turning on and off using your smart speaker but you can also use the CASA app to set time schedules which is really good and you can set it for sunrise and sunset and this is dynamic so in the winter obviously the sun sets earlier so this will adapt dynamically so you won't have to worry about it changing it will always set the time and switch on or off for the appropriate time of the day. So obviously the main difference between this and the previous version is the size and when you put them side by side it is quite considerable and the places where you use this could be quite tight for space, it could be in your kitchen, it could be behind your bedside cabinet so you might be looking to save as much space as possible and this could help you in that way. But as I said, this was already an excellent value smart home product which they've basically improved and made better. So if you're looking for an easy way to improve your smart home, then this is a good starting point. I'm the Average Scott Consumer, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.